Welcome back. Um, we hear a lot about recovery time and its importance for athletes as they get older. Here you are, third fight this year. What has you back so soon? Uh, the availability. You know, uh, I'm I'm a fighter that likes to fight. Uh, you know, if, if I could get four, five fights a year, I would do that uh, consistently. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things that there was a time period in my career where I needed a little bit of time off in between fights. Uh, but now it's just, there's so many things that can pull me away from the gym that it's easier for me to just stay in it and, you know, have that fight in the future and, and, and just, uh, you know, keep, keep going. Um, you know, fortunately I've been lucky enough to not really be, uh, dealing with any bad injuries. You know, I got the bumps and bruises like everybody else and deal with nagging things that I've developed over a, you know, a career in, uh, mixed martial arts. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, it's, it's way easier for me to just stay into it and, uh, and just, you know, keep my nose to the grindstone and, and, you know, given the circumstances, there are a lot of cards and, it, uh, yeah, it just makes things easy. You know, you said in the past, you know, you think you can make 40 fights, you know, 50 might be pushing it, but when you do fight at this pace, does that change how many more you see yourself having left? Uh, it, it hasn't yet. Um, I mean, it might, <laughs> like I said, I, I haven't been dealing with, with anything, you know, that's been too bad lately. You know, uh, uh, I dealt with the shoulder injury from the old air fight and that's, uh, that's really the most recent thing that I've, that I've had to deal with, uh, you know, doing physical therapy and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's been easy enough for me to, to kind of just be in the gym and, um, you know, like any fight can take a lot out of you, you know, and, and, and cause some damage and, and any training session can do it as well. I mean, it's, uh, that's just the, the matter of fact, um, you know, that, that a lot of times, uh, at least for me per personally, the, a lot of the, a lot of the injuries that I, that I deal with now are from training and not necessarily fights. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just kind of, it's that double-edged sword, you know, it, it, it might catch up to me a little sooner, but, uh, at the same time, like I said, it's the hardest part for me now is if I fall out of shape, I, uh, you know, I get kept away from the gym with, you know, family and business and, and everything else and, um, and hobbies and, 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 you know, and having fun, uh, and, uh, getting back into shape and, and kind of toning myself down and, and training easier and safer is hard for me. Uh, so yeah, for, for me, it's easier just to, to kind of just keep going and, and, you know, and keep, keep on trucking. And you're doing that this weekend. Obviously, a dangerous fight against Vince from Healthy Shell. Uh, what does he bring to the table that does make him so dangerous? Uh, you know, he, he doesn't get tired. Um, you know, he just keeps coming forward. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, being 100% honest. Uh, unfortunately, my conditioning has been one of those things that has suffered, um, you know, in the last couple of years. So it, it's. Uh, it's something that I've been working on and, and, and try to, you know, address. And it's one of those things that there's no excuse for it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I have gotten tired in some of these fights that I've lost and, uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's definitely something that he's gotten and, and I have to go out and, you know, um, uh, get the momentum early and keep it. And, uh, you know, if I know, yeah, I know that if I do that, uh, you know, it's going to be a good fight for me. Um, you know, I feel like he matches up well. I, I feel like I have an advantage uh, really everywhere the fight goes. And I imagine uh, you will be hunting the submission in this, but how do you see yourself getting it done? Um, you know, I, I see myself landing some good shots on him and uh, making him try to wrestle with me. Um, you know, I, uh, I've seen some of his fights that when he does start uh, absorbing some strikes, he reverts to, uh, you know, just pressure wrestling and stuff like that. And, um when he comes forward, I, I feel like that's when I'm going to catch him. And last one for me, you've been some a part of some huge cards over the years, right back to the UFC 100 and everything. Big heavyweight title fight atop this. Uh, how do you see DC Steep A3 going? I don't know. You know, the, it's uh, I'd, I'd say that I'm, I'd probably pulling for Steep A, um, but at the same time, man, for DC to go out on top 
that that'd be that'd be pretty awesome. You know, um, I, I said it uh, when I was talking. I was talking to Matt Sarah the other day. Like, you know, I want to know going into my last fight that it's my last fight. I'm not going to make an emotional decision, have a crappy performance, and and you know, and take my gloves off there in the octagon. That's that's not going to be me. Um, I'm going to know, you know, in the lead up to that fight that it's my last one. And, and, uh, and just thinking of that feeling that, that I hope that DC has, uh, with it, you know, it, it gets me pumped up, you know, um, uh, having, you know, competed, uh, for a, a vast majority of my life, um, you know, and to, to know when I'm going to be hanging them up, um, at least from like something as big as, you know, MMA has had on my, on my life as big of an impact it's had on my life. Uh, it's going to be, a, it's going to be an awesome feeling making that last walk to the octagon. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if I were in his shoes, I'd be on cloud nine right now, just excited really to be able to like kind of drink it in because there's, there's nothing else after this. So you might as well go out, you know, uh, and, and fight your heart out. All right. Well, thanks for everything. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you. We will take our next questions from Augusto Niaz Gay with Somos MMA. Hi, Jim. How are you? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. Jim, you have a ton of experience. You've been over a lot of circumstances during your career. But this is your second fight in this particular pandemic situation. So are you getting used to the new procedures and the, the, the new fight week? Um, you know, it's actually, it got changed up a little bit on, uh, on me this time, you know, uh, last fight week was a little bit different than this one. There's a, a little, things are a little bit tighter this time around. Um, you know, f for me, I, 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 I get such like tunnel vision when I'm fighting that I don't, I, I barely hear my corner. Uh, I have to kind of be in that, that little section of the octagon in order to hear my corner. I, I never hear them if I'm on the opposite side of the octagon. Um, so for me fighting with no fans, uh, last time it was really, it, it doesn't really matter, you know, like, uh, especially with a fight like that, where I went out and, you know, in, in a half a round, it's over. Um, I can imagine that being in a, in a tough fight where, you know, you're going into the final round and you're tired and bleeding and, and this and that, and, uh, and not having that roar of the crowd would be, uh, something that would affect me. Um, I hope not, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it definitely does give you that energy when you're in those fights, but, uh, yeah, the, the whole, the whole procedures thing, like I, I'm a, I'm the type of guy that I just sit in my room anyway. Uh, you know, I'm just focused on drinking a ton of water and then cutting weight, uh, you know, and then fighting on, on Saturday. So, um, I'm not the type of fighter that goes out and, and goes to the movies or goes to the mall or anything like that and kind of sees the sights, unfortunately, but, uh. Yeah, so it, for me, it's it's really no different than uh, than really any other fight. And, and is there anything that you miss about the, the the fights before the pandemic? Maybe the crowd? Yeah, hell yeah, I miss the crowd. You know, uh, I mean that's one of the things too. Like going back to that that retirement talk with you know with DC's fight. Like I I don't know if I could do it without a crowd. Like I, I I've I've fought so many times in, in front of the fans that um, I don't know if I would want to have my last one in this atmosphere. Um, you know, it, uh, it, I feel like it's something that I'd want to share, but uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it is different. It does. It, it, it kind of, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks not fighting, you know, or fighting without the fans here, you know? Um, but uh, you know, I've, I've always said that I'd, I'd fight, you know, anybody, anywhere and, and, uh, prove it by going into the, uh, an empty arena and, and, and fighting guys there. So, um, it's, it's awesome to have the fans on your side and, and it's awesome to just hear them and you get energy from it, but, uh, it's not why I fight. It's just the positive of, of fighting and putting on good fights. And, and is there anything you like about all these new fight weeks? Is there, is there anything that you say this could be implemented in, in the future? Um, you know, I mean, it's definitely, it, it's cool. Like, I, 
it's fun sometimes to hang out at the at the fights afterwards. But last time coming out fighting, banging out some press, and then just being in the car and going back to the the hotel room to take a shower and you know and have a beer. Uh, that was that was pretty cool. Um, I suppose I could do that anytime. At, you know, any one of the fights, unless there was a, a press conference. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I I kind of I kind of like that because we were you know, at a casino going to a steakhouse when the main event was, uh, was it's still in the first round at that last one. So, um, I can't really, can't really complain about that. I, th- I thought that was pretty cool. And my, my last one, uh, uh, you have been talking about DC, about hanging the, the gloves and I really enjoyed to see you fight. So please tell me that we are pretty far from seeing your last fight. We are, we are. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not going to be uh Saturday night, but, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty focused on hitting 40 right now. Um, and then there's that side and it's like, well, I get to 40 and it, you know, that's another year and a half or so. And UFC 300 is sneaking up on us. So uh, that would, I, I'd be, you know, in my forties at that point, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm feeling really good right now. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing, not dealing with anything major and, and uh, yeah, it's uh I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying training, even, even in this, you know, uh, there are the aspects of it that, um, that do suck, like not having my students at the gym, but, um, kind of like condensing training sessions and stuff like that, just to minimize the amount of, you know, traffic at the gym and this and that, um, it's been pretty cool. So, um, I'm really enjoying the process that we have going on right now. And, and, uh, like I said, my body's responding to it well. So, um, we're gonna we're gonna keep on rolling. Okay, great, great to hear that, and it was awesome to talk with you. Thank you very much, and good luck on Thank Saturday. You. Thank you. We will take our next question from Dada with Sports Key. Jim, how are you doing? Hello. Is that me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Jim. How you doing? Hi. How's it going? Yeah, I'm going. I'm doing well, thank you. So, first thing I wanted to ask you was, you've already fought once in an empty arena back in June. You'll be doing once again this weekend. So, having competed in so many fights in the UFC, what is the experience of fighting in an arena with no audience? Um, for for me, it wasn't that different uh because the fight was short um like i said before if if i was in a fight like like that first fight with lozon or something like that or um my fight with poye where you you know you're just you're just in it it's a scrap and and uh you're bleeding you're limping you're hurt and you're going back to the corner and there's no crowd roaring or cheering um you know it, it, it gives you an it gives you a rush. It gives you an energy rush. So to not have that, uh, I think would would suck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, fortunately, like my last fight, I didn't need that, uh, and my plan is to not need it again. Uh, you know, come Saturday. So um, yeah, it's uh, when I when I step into the octagon, I don't I don't even I don't, I don't see outside the octagon. I barely hear anything. All I hear kind of is just like static during the fight occasionally I'll hear my corner yelling at me um so for me it's like it, it doesn't matter if there was a million fans or if there weren't any um all I focus on is that guy standing in front of me so last time around you fought a young up-and-comer in Roosevelt Roberts but this time it'll be a veteran like Vince Mitchell so what's it like for you to fight someone who's almost as experienced as you are um you know it it's uh it it's, it's a fight, you know, everybody's dangerous. Um, you know, Roosevelt was dangerous and this, uh, you know, is going to be dangerous. So, um, it's, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many fights the guy's been in. Uh, you know, like the way I look at it is that uh, I, I fought just about everybody. Um, you know, from guys who went on to, uh, become world champions and guys who were former world champions and, um, you know, uh, from third degree black belts in jiu-jitsu and, and 
phenomenal striker. So it's, uh, I, I fought them all. <laughs> I've seen everything. Um, you know, so for me, uh, you know, Vince is, he's, he, he is older than Roosevelt and he, he has been in the UFC for a bit, but he hasn't fought the, uh, the guys that I fought. Um, so it, uh, I, I feel like I, I do have a, a massive, uh, experience advantage, but at the same time, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really mean anything when it comes right down to it. Um, you know, uh, I've seen, I've seen everything, so I'm not going to overreact to things and, and, uh, you know, uh, get caught off guard, but, um, yeah. And when it comes down to a fight, it's, uh, it, it really doesn't matter a lot of time. So final question from me. This will be a third fight of this year, but mm -hmm. given that you're in your mid thirties right now, is there a particular goal you have in your mind of how many fights you want to have in a year? Um, I, I like to fight, you know, every three months or so. You know, if, if, I, um, if I got to fight as often as I would have liked to, um, you know, I'd probably already be at 40 fights in the UFC. Um, you know, unfortunately, I have had to deal with, you know, getting shelved a little bit here and there, uh, you know, waiting for New York cards or newer cards, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. I, I, I like to fight. I, uh, it's easier for me to stay in the gym and, and just keep training and, uh, keep improving myself and stay in shape than to, to have that period of time off where, um, I just get pulled out of the gym for whatever reason, you know, um, you know, some really good ones and some, you know, some not as good, like just messing around in my shop or something like that. So, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's just easier for me to keep fighting. So, you know, hopefully uh, I'm going to have a good night on Saturday, come out of this one healthy, and um, I'd like to fight, you know, maybe end of the year card. Well, thank you for your time, and good luck for your fight this week. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jim. That was all the time we had for you. Thank you. Thanks, sir.